What's up everyone, my name is Marie, welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build. So for today's video I am actually building a starter home. This is a base game only starter home, so it comes in at just under 20,000 simoleons. I believe, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, it comes in at literally 19,999 simoleons. So it's literally one simoleon under starter home budget which is crazy so yeah it is a starter home barely though but it is a starter home so you can afford it when you um start a new safe for example and you don't want to use any money cheats or what have you then you can use this house and for a starter home it's quite nice and spacious because it is a two-story house and it has two bedrooms total so it has a master bedroom and then a kid's bedroom and it also has two bathrooms, which is also quite nice. However, I did turn the downstairs bathroom in uh, into a half bathroom, so it only has a shower and, or no shower, it only has a toilet and a sink in there um, because I ran out of budget. But it does have the potential to be turned into a full bathroom. So you could always renovate it if you have a little bit more money saved up. Then you can easily do that and you can turn this into a two bedroom, two bathroom house. Um, so that is actually quite nice. And uh, yeah, so like I said, it's base game only. So you don't need any packs for this build. Or at least I believe it's base game only. It's supposed to be base game only. And I think I checked it on the gallery, but I did not uninstall all of my packs for this build because... I literally just um, started building this house and when I was fiddling around with the shape, I kind of decided that I wanted to make it base game only. So I didn't just close, I didn't close my game and then um, uninstall all the packs or disable all the packs and then reopen my game. I just kind of filtered by base game only. So, but that's always a little bit risky because it's quite easy to make a little mistake and add something from a pack, but I'm pretty sure that this is only base game, but we'll check it once we uh, hop into the game after the speed build, and then I'll make sure to, to check it, and uh, I think we should be fine. But yeah, as you can see, I'm building this in the fall because I have never really done that before. I, I have definitely built base game starter homes before, but always in the default like summer time. Um, when you build something, like when you go into build mode in The Sims, and you don't have a sim on the lot currently. So if you just go over to a lot for just building purposes, then the game is set to this like default, like summer season. And that's usually what I use for base game starter homes. But for today's build, I just really wanted to build something more autumn inspired and yeah just a little bit more in the autumn vibes because I am very much enjoying the fall vibes. It is September right now, fall is just around the corner and I'm just very excited about it. I thrive in the fall, I just I love autumn so much. So yeah I decided to just build a starter home in the fall. It's nice and cozy and the colors are nice and warm. Um, I really like the colors that I'm using for the exterior. They're a little bit on the darker side but I really like that brown and gray color combined together I think they look really nice it's definitely right up my alley color scheme wise I really enjoy it um, but yeah it didn't take me long at all to actually build this house because it is a starter home so I ran out of money pretty fast um, and so the interior for this build is kind of sad I mean it has everything that your sims would need to just get started. Um, it has a nice kitchen, it has a dining table, a two-seater dining table, it has a couch, stuff like that, it has a nice seating area. No TV though, I couldn't afford a TV, or I mean, I probably could have afforded one, but I didn't really want to because I would rather spend the money on a computer because a computer is very nice for gameplay. Like you definitely need a computer for lots of things. So I, I just decided to, um, to get a computer and not get a TV. And then for the time being, your Sims can just read a book for entertainment or play a game on the computer for that matter. So there are a couple of bookcases in this house, but no TV. So that's a little bit sad. That's a sacrifice I had to make. But then again, I still wanted this house to be at least a little bit decorated and cute. So that's also one of the reasons why I decided to just not get a TV because I would rather spend the money on getting some like some more plants and some more decorations, which I know is a little bit silly because decorations aren't functional. 
um, and a TV definitely is, but yeah, you know what? I was just like, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy more decorations instead of a TV. So that's what I did. And I don't even find myself using TVs in The Sims all that often when I'm playing the game. Like I will use them if my Sims need like need some fun in their lives. Like if, if their fun is super low, then I will just sometimes have them watch TV for a second. But even then I would, have them um, play a game on the computer way more often because it's just way more effective and I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say here but I'm just really I'm just really not using the TVs in the game all that often so I didn't really miss one in here but yeah as you can see I was just kind of going through and placing all of the necessities at first before moving on to decorating the place because with starter homes I always struggle I am terrible with building on a budget I'm not gonna lie about it, I struggle a lot with it. So for today's video, I just, or for this build I mean, I just uh, I just went through and quickly placed all of the necessities so that your Sims at least have a fully functional kitchen and a bedroom and, a, and at least one fully decorated or fully furnished bathroom. Um, so yeah, it all worked out in the end though, but it's definitely, an empty house. I mean, I tried to fill it up and make it look as lived in as much as possible, but with a budget this small, it was just not really what I wanted it to be, but it's fine. It's a starter home. It's supposed to be empty. Um, so you can decorate it to your heart's content and to your own liking, um, which is a lot of fun. And I like that about starter homes. But yeah, I did make sure to actually include a taller bedroom upstairs as well. I was thinking of turning it into a nursery but then I was like, you know what? I might as well just turn it into a toddler's bedroom because your Sims are babies for like two days. So a toddler bedroom with a couple of toys in it is way more usable than a nursery. So I decided to just go ahead and spend some money on toddler stuff. And I think that's nice because then your your house is all ready to go for, for a little toddler. And that's that comes in handy. Um, in my opinion at least. So yeah, that's what I did. And as you can see on the landing area, I placed a desk with a very sad little computer, but it works. It's the cheapest computer in the game and it works. And um, yeah, it's nice that there is a computer in this house. And then we, um, after doing the upstairs area, I kind of just went back down to the ground floor and decorate a little bit more in here. I did place a coffee table with some decorations and then I placed a little bookcase above that end table where you would normally place a TV. I just didn't do that, so I put a bookcase above it. And then there is another nice little shelving unit bookcase item next to the front door as well because I really wanted something to fill up the, the space there. So I was very happy that I could afford an extra bookcase or shelving unit. And then I also had the money to actually upgrade the appliances in the kitchen a little bit. So I just got a slightly better stove and a slightly better um, fridge, I believe, or maybe not even the fridge, maybe just the stove. Um, yeah, I had the money to upgrade the stove a little bit, so that's nice. And um, yeah, as you can see, the house on the inside is just very simple, kind of empty, but it is very cute. And at this point, I only had four simoleons left, so I just got started with decorating the backyard, but, but I used only debug items for the backyard and the landscaping, obviously, because I was out of money, I didn't have any money left, and I actually wasn't really planning on spending real money for, um, for landscaping anyway. I mean, I would have liked a couple more furniture items in the backyard, maybe an extra little bench or maybe a grill or something like that, but I really, really couldn't afford it. So the only real pieces of furniture in the backyard are a bench and an outdoors bin, and that's literally it. So yeah, that's kind of sad, but it's fine. You can just save up some money and uh, decorate the backyard later. I mean, it, I, I do believe that this is a nice house to uh to actually buy when you first start playing the game it's nice and big it has opportunities for you to grow your family you don't have to move out of the house as soon as you have your first baby you can just stay here for a little bit longer you could even turn the kids bedroom into a shared bedroom if you wanted to it would be kind of cramped in there but it would definitely work so you could always do that if you wanted to and um 
Yeah, you can see that this house is very autumn inspired. It has all of the fall colors, all of the autumn colors going on. I love the colors of the trees and the shrubs and just the bushes overall for the landscaping. I just think it's really cute. And I tried to make this house a little bit more overgrown. I mean, if you were to buy all these plants from the catalog, then it would be very expensive. But because I was using only debug, it was free. So I could just kind of go crazy with the landscaping and stuff. And yeah, I made it a little bit more overgrown because I was thinking that this house could be a little bit older, not like recently built by any means. So I was just kind of thinking that, um, that this house would be a little bit overgrown and there would be some landscaping around and I didn't want it to be too manicured either. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit messy. It's a little bit overgrown, but I like how it looks and I think it's very cozy By the way, I don't know if you can hear that but uh, I am a little bit sick at the moment <laughs> So if my voice sounds a little bit weird, that's why I just have a cold I don't have the virus that's been going around. Don't worry. I got tested. It's fine. I don't have it I'm okay, but yeah, I just uh, a little bit stuffed up and uh, a little bit I, I just have a little bit of a cold. I'm a little bit sick, but I'm fine. I will be fine I feel uh, well, I don't feel so fine. Actually. I feel kind of bad, but uh, it's fine I'll get over it. I'm sure it will be a a lot better already tomorrow if I just go to bed early um, and drink a lot of ginger tea that seems to help for me all the time but yeah this is just a thing that happens in the fall so it's kind of funny that I'm building this fall house <laughs> right now and I'm also kind of sick because this always happens to me in September I don't know why it's probably to change of the seasons or something um, but yeah this always tends to happen to me but uh, yeah, this house is pretty much all finished. I just did a little bit of terrain paint and uh, I placed a mailbox because I forgot <laughs> and then we're all done. So let's jump right into the game and I'll show you the house in a real time. So here we have the starter home in the game. I really love how it looks in the fall. I just think that the trees around here are so beautiful, and so pretty. And I definitely tried to make this house as autumn-like as possible. So I don't really know how it would look in the summertime, probably just fine, but yeah, you can definitely tell that this is a fall inspired house but as you can see there is a little bit of landscaping around and then over here we have the very sad and empty backyard there is only this tiny little bench and this outdoor trash can and then that's actually it there's not even a light because I couldn't afford that however there is a light by the front door so that's something I guess on the inside there is really not that much to show you it's kind of empty but you can see that the color scheme in here kind of matches the color scheme of the exterior of the house I did that on purpose because I thought it would be cute but yeah when you walk into the house you have this little open floor plan situation we have an entryway right here that is very empty there is nothing here um, so that's definitely something for you to update and then we have this very simple little kitchen we do have this slightly upgraded stove so that's always nice and we also have a fire alarm so no worries there and then we have a two-seater dining table right here and a pretty cozy seating area in my opinion given the circumstances. I think it's kind of cute. And then over here we have a half bathroom, which it's really big for a half bathroom as you can see, but I kind of left this space empty on purpose. So you could update this bathroom and turn it into a full bathroom and like place a shower tub combination or just a tub or just a shower over here. So I left it empty on purpose so that you don't have to rearrange the whole thing. And then when we go upstairs, we have a desk with a computer right here, which is all functional as you can see. And then we have the second and bathroom up here where I made sure to place a shower tub combination in this one of course and then just your regular toilet and sink and there's no toilet paper I'm so sorry about that I know it's terrible it's a pet peeve of mine as well when there's no toilet paper in Sims homes but I only had one simoleon left so what was I supposed to do I couldn't afford it and I was not gonna sell a plant for toilet paper I just I wasn't gonna do it so there is no toilet paper I'm so sorry I did make sure to place a potty in here though for the toddler so you're all set there and then here we have the master bedroom which is very simple I like the color scheme in here though it's kind of cute I don't think I've ever used this swatch of the bedding before so yeah it was nice and then they just have a dresser and a mirror as you can see and then over here we have the toddler's bedroom which is a little bit more bright and colorful and I think it's very cute there are a couple of decorations in here a couple of toys so your toddler should be fine in here but that is actually it for this house so this base game starter home is up on the gallery and it comes in at 
just under 20,000 simoleons. It's literally 19,999 simoleons. So I barely made it, but I made it. And yeah, it's up on the gallery. I built it on a 20 by 15 in Newcrest, but obviously it would fit on any 20 by 15 anywhere. I think it would look just fine anywhere. But that's actually it for this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this build. You can obviously go ahead and download it off the gallery like I just showed you. My username on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!